Tuesday's Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. There were a few breaks in the clouds this afternoon, but most of us just saw not much difference what you see outside right now in Harrisburg Sky Kim. Fairly gloomy right now, overlooking much of the Susquehanna Valley. You can see Three Mile Island there off in the distance. Nice light breeze, temperatures cooling off. It was warmer today than yesterday across much of the area. Right now we are 38 degrees in the capital city and winds are out of the west northwest roughly at eight miles per hour. Super Doppler 8 showing us mostly dry conditions with the exception of a few flurries uh, mainly north of the turnpike. This will continue during the evening hours and eventually taper off if you see any flurries out in your backyard. There are two systems I'm watching. This storm system right now that is just to the east of Omaha and the second system that's coming out of the Rockies. This first storm system may throw us some light drizzle and flurries tomorrow, but it's this storm system back in the Rockies coming out of British Columbia and Alberta, call it a clipper, could uh, drop some snow that will accumulate on Wednesday afternoon and evening. So here's your News 8 Storm Team forecast. Mainly cloudy, blustery at times. Temperatures falling from the upper 30s to the mid 30s. We'll bottom out tonight in the upper 20s to near 30 degrees, but just a few breaks in the clouds. Won't be quite as windy. Tomorrow, look for partly sunny skies. There could be some flurries and some drizzle during the afternoon and evening hours as temperatures warm back up to the upper 30s to near 40 degrees. If you see any uh, flakes or some light uh, drizzle during the afternoon, I don't expect it to accumulate. It's Wednesday that we could see that light accumulation. 38 right now in Harrisburg, 40 if you're watching us in York, and 39 currently in Lebanon. We do have that cloud cover. It was an upper level disturbance that helped get those flurries going earlier today. That is now mainly offshore at this hour. Cold fronts trying to move into the Commonwealth, but that should fizzle out. High pressure is trying to build to our south, but it's these quick clipper systems that are moving on the northern tier of uh, the flow and the upper levels of the atmosphere that's going to give us these uh, light snow chances. The good news is they're moving quickly, so yes, they're going to produce some heavy snowfall at times, but the speed of the storm is going to keep the accumulation totals rather low. So here's a look at the predictor. Notice here comes the clouds moving on in on Tuesday morning. Here we are right when uh, Tom Wolf will be taking oath of office. Could see some light flurries. This will be continuing through the evening drive. Then we'll get a break in the action late on Tuesday night. Then here comes the second clipper from the west. Notice we get a nice plume of moisture and fairly widespread snow showers to our west that will become most likely across the area late in the afternoon and through the evening drive on Wednesday. So here's what to expect for tomorrow. Light flurries or drizzle, not looking for any accumulation. Wednesday morning we could start to see some light flurries or even a light coating, but it's Wednesday afternoon evening. That's when we could see some light widespread snow. Looking for some minor accumulations anywhere from about one to three inches, but these storm systems do move fast. We'll continue to uh, fine tune that forecast over the next day. So. so 38 for your high tomorrow, mid-30s with some snow showers expected on Wednesday. Could see some flurries on Thursday, and we're watching another storm system that could throw us some light snow late in the weekend ahead. Quick look at some kids' art to show you. Sammy drawing a nice winter picture from Washington Borough, and here's the neat thing. She's from Miss Winter's class with that winter 